It's not about motivation. Winners need discipline. Wake up and win today. Discipline comes from within. Boxing King at Media in association with Box Raw with uh, David Beckham. David Beckham? David Beckham of like the early 2000s. That's, That's the what, look. When I went in the hairdressers and I said, what do you want? I said, David Beckham, early 2000s. They nearly gave me the blonde mohawk thing. What was it? I can't remember what year this was, but he had that. Has he got that look right now? I'm not sure. I don't know. He's a good looking geezer though, David Beckham. Is that the new look, Frank? Yeah, I was just, I've had it for a while. No, but I didn't know whether you were going to like have it completely shaved or growing back. Or I got to get it cut a little bit. I've been, I haven't had time. I've uh, been running about a bit too much, so um, I will get it cut a little bit. But this is the, you know, this is what I'm going for. Until next year, I think next year I'm going to go for the blonde mohawk, like I say that David did. But most importantly, what does the missus think? She prefers it like this. She was the one who did it in the first place okay. when we were away. She, uh, she has always preferred my hair like this, so she, she, she did it. I'm not going to ask you what was going on when she cut your hair off, but we'll leave that for another day. Uh, let's talk about this. Uh, let's talk about this event. Uh, I'll start with Matt Campbell Hatton. Uh, I feel like he must have carried a lot of pressure on his shoulders tonight. And, you know, apart from the defeat, is it fair to say that he showed some nuts in that fight tonight? <clears throat> yeah, look, Campbell, ever since, you know, his pro debut has been under a lot of pressure. You know, as all of those you know fighters are coming through from famous fathers, but he's been under a lot of pressure, and he's you know I think tonight was will be a tough night for him to take, but he showed a lot of balls and a lot of heart in there tonight, and I think he would have gained a lot more respect from people tonight going in there and doing what he did. You know, it was a, it was always a hard fight, but at some point in your career you need to take those step up fights, and that's what he did tonight. But um, you know, he, he's got to keep his head up because he fought very hard. And uh, yeah, it'll gain a lot of respect coming off the back of that. Sometimes in losses, you gain as much respect as in wins. You do uh, quality moments, you know, Ricky, and you know, he we went to congratulate uh, Jimmy Joe Flynn. That was nice to see as well. Yeah, look, they're a nice family, you know. They, you know, and they've been. In, Ricky's obviously been in boxing. Just come this way. I don't want that falling on your head. Um, well, don't want you claiming anything against us. Uh, he's yeah, a good, a good family who've been in boxing a long, long time, um, and. You know, uh, they, they respect that both guys went in there and they gave a great fight. Um, and that's what it's all about. Ishmael Davis, uh, a kid that's put, had uh, a lot to deal with in the last 24 hours. And uh, I don't know if you know much about his backstory. He's got a crazy backstory. You know, whilst Troy was fighting for Team GB, he was in and out of prison trying to find his way in life. And he's just gone in there tonight and, and looked like a really, really good fighter. Yeah, amazing story. Amazing story. And that's what it's all about, you know, people getting opportunities like that to change their lives. Uh, he's a lovely bloke as well. And, you know, like you say, it was, I'm sure it was a bit of a strenuous, stressful fight week for him, but he got through it. And I'm glad the fight happened. You know, I'm glad it happened because he went in there and delivered a great performance and a great win for his career. He said to me, he went to sleep with the fight off. He woke up to fight, maybe being on, to being on. So what happened whilst he was asleep? I'm guessing you must have played a big part in that. No, not really. I was. I haven't been here. I got here... I got here um, this morning. You know, our team, obviously Tom Dallas, Eddie, Eddie's been here as well. They were working through the situation and got everything settled. But I'm glad, uh, I'm glad it happened because, like I say, he got that opportunity to have a great win. What is next for him? We'll see. We'll see. We'll work with the team um, and see see what what's in the plans next. But he, he definitely deserves another fight because he looked great. So why was Sandy Ryan able to win in a way that probably nobody expected it to like win so easily within four rounds? Uh, I think, you know, look, she had a great performance. Obviously, we represent both Sandy and Terry. We've had great nights with both of them. Um, but a great performance from her. She looked very much improved. She was vicious from the first round, went out there uh, and, you know, really set her game plan out. So, you know, it was a, a really strong performance from her. And, you know, I think she knew what she needed to do. And, uh, you know, she's got some big fights ahead of her. I think coming off the back of the Jessica McCaskill fight as well, that was a tough one for her to take. You know, she she won that fight. She didn't get the result on the night, um, but she wanted to go and prove a point tonight, and she did. Dal uh, Dalton Smith started off a bit shaky, and I think a few people ringside were like, "This is going to be a hard fight," and then bam, he literally turned the fight on its head. Yeah, look, I think the first round it was really just feeling it out, you know, and then after that he, he boxed perfectly. He looked brilliant in there tonight. He's a special fighter. We've known that for a long time, and as the opposition goes up, he's going to look better and better. You know, he's got. 
you saw the atmosphere in there tonight. He's got so much potential to become the star, you know, and he is the star of Sheffield now. We've had great nights here over the years, and we know it's a market that they love their boxing. And uh, as Eddie said in the ring, a Hillsborough night would be special. But, yeah, it was a tough fight. But it was always going to be a tough fight. You know, Zapeda's been in there against some of the best in the, in the sport, in his division. Um, and But that's what Dawson wanted. Dawson wanted step-ups. He doesn't want easy fights. He wants to step up in the in the sport and keep building and keep keep growing. He's just 16 fights in, um, and you know it's uh, it's good to see because we need those starts and we need performances like that. The way he finished it, that's what people want to see, you know. And he's becoming more and more confident in himself as well. So some big nights to come, and I'm delighted. You know, we just signed a three fight extension with him as well. So yeah, lo lots to look forward to. What, just th you just signed that extension just this second? Just now. No, no, no. We we signed it previously. We've been working on it for a while. You know, with Sean O'Toole and Dalton, and uh, you know, I, I look, I've worked closely with Dalton since we signed it. You know, we re-signed him 14 months ago, something like that, and and started building out a plan. You know, he's had he's had a tough time, especially with cuts in fights. He's lost some momentum at times. But you know, after tonight with a win like that, you know, we're going to keep him active, keep him busy, keep him in people's you know front and centre, loads of media, and get him back out very soon because he's um, you know he's in a great position in British boxing to take over. Eddie said to me yesterday, you spoke to Ben Shalom and Ben Shalom has told you directly that uh, they're going to be pulling Adam out. Could you tell us how that conversation went? Yes, he said, hello, Frank, this is Ben Shalom. Uh, I'm going to pull Adam Azim out of the first bid. And I said, OK, thank you, Ben Shalom. No, I <laughs> he te I texted him, I said, can you let me know what you're doing? He said, I've told you already, we don't want that fight next. Um... So how many, basically how many times do I have to tell you? I said, okay, no problem. Obviously that's your client. Pull him out the first bit. I think they were waiting to see what happened, as Dalton said, they wanted to see what happened tonight. They wanted to see Dalton lose and everyone to then go, oh, Dalton's fit, you know, and it would take all the pressure off Adam Azim. But unfortunately for them, Dalton Smith went and did the complete opposite. And now they're going to be even more embarrassed because they've got to pull him out now. Because there is no way that Ben Shalom allows Adam Azim to fight him. But let's see. I hope they do because it's a great fight. You now, in terms of Dal we, Dalton Smith's got his own career trajectory. Now, he could go on to fights now at a much, much higher level, you know, and that's what we want to do. But at the same time, the Adam Azim fight is a massive fight. And it's a fight we'd love to see. You know, and it's a fight we'd love to make. But let's see. We, it won't be the first time they, they pulled someone out. It won't be the last. Uh, last thing, how was it whilst you was in Antigua and all your colleagues were in the, the Aldi car park on uh, Wednesday? Uh, yeah, Antigua is very similar to the Aldi car park when it's when it's raining. Um, no, I, we 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 were out there. We weren't. It wasn't a jolly. We had we had a load of meetings, but um, we are we're back now. We're back in. You know, I, that, it was hard for me. I, I landed back today. Actually, I had some meetings as well. I flew away, but I was in the sun, and I came back, and it was hammering down with rain, and it's cold, and I forgot what the UK is like in March. Shouldn't be like this, should it? But you know, I'm going to try and get myself back out to some sunshine because we all need a bit of sun. We definitely do get another show in Abu Dhabi, Frank. Thank you for your time. I got a question for you. Where can discipline take you? Discipline points you towards your goals.